For many children, like three-year-old Grace, home can be a frightening place. Grace's father was involved with drugs and her mother suffered a serious mental health disability. She was also often violent. Grace's house smelled of urine and had dirty nappies on the floor and there was no food in the cupboards. In their distracted state, her parents were simply not able to meet Grace's most basic needs. Traumatised, this lost little girl just rocked alone in a corner. Unsafe in her parents' care, Grace was removed and placed in crisis care with Bernardo's. When Grace arrived, all she had with her was a grey plastic bag containing two dresses and one shoe. We discovered Grace had never talked and hadn't been toilet trained. She didn't know how to communicate with other children or even how to play with toys. She was diagnosed with having autism and significant global delays. She was operating at the level of a child almost half her age. This little girl had been through so much. She needed a lot of healing. Grace went to live with Annie, a Bernardo's carer who was also a childhood development specialist. This was only meant to be temporary, but after the courts decided it would be unsafe for Grace to ever return home, Grace went to live permanently with Annie and her husband. Thanks to the support of Annie, her caseworker, and a team of occupational and speech therapists, Grace is finally getting the support she needs. Although Grace still has a long road ahead, it's been like watching a dark cloud lift from her young life. Grace has finally blossomed in a warm and nurturing home. But sadly, there are many other children who aren't that lucky. Every child deserves to grow up in a safe and nurturing home. Please donate today and help Bernardo's provide safe and nurturing homes for children who are in desperate situations.